Hello YouTube, welcome. Um, so today we are going to be making a coat rack. So now that we have our, our skid, and I've also denailed it, we are now going to go ahead and we're going to use a table saw and cut a 45 all along it. Now that that's all done, now let's give it a good sanding. Now I think that this turned out pretty good. It's, it feels great. It's I sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper again with this project and I think it looks just darn nice. Plus the 45 all around it looks really good too. So now we got to just figure out the spacing of the hangers, get them figured out first. Then once that's done, we can apply the, the stain and then also some gloss. So I've got them all marked out. You can't really see it, but I've got them all marked out every five inches. So it should turn out pretty good. And I got a little line there because put that there purposely because the bottom of each of the hangers is going to be just touching it so that way they look somewhat like a like a straight line oh we'll see we'll see so i've got three hangers marked out i was going to do some more but i think three will be enough see i also drew inside of them with a pen so that way I can see the pen, hopefully, through the gloss and the stain. If not, not a big deal. I'll just remark them out and do it again once the paint is all done. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and we're going to put some stain on it. I'll show you guys what I use. I personally think this is some pretty good stuff. Now this is golden oak. I know it's kind of blurry. Golden oak 210B. For anybody that's interested, this is some good stuff. But I have to warn, it does, now granted you get this with a lot of them, it does give off a really strong smell. And it takes time to fade. And you should really try to use it in warm temperatures. That's why I'm not outside doing it. It's like minus 15 outside. So now that that's all dried, let's add in some clear gloss which this stuff is absolutely amazing i highly recommend it to anybody it does just a beautiful job and i need to go get buy some more <laughs> but it, it is very very good stuff highly recommended and what's really nice is it's water-based too so if you get it on yourself it's not a big deal but i will say be very careful. Make sure you're wearing painter's clothes if you are applying any of this sort of stuff, including that other stuff I showed you. Um, it does not wash out very easily. So now that I've got that done, I've got them all partially screwed in, I think they just turned out exactly how I like them, and they all look pretty good now, 
So now I'm going to screw these in, and then I'm going to grab a couple of these pieces. And we're just going to pre-drill. I'm going to pre-drill these. Both of them, one here probably. Just stick them in. And then all I have left to, is to hang it to the wall. Um, now, one important thing is to at least get a hit with at least one of the studs, at least. Um, because otherwise you got all the, the weight of the coats and stuff, and it's just sitting in drywall. Um, which, if you, if you have like a full bag or whatever, a full knapsack, whatever, um, yeah, it could easily blow out of the wall. So, we just gotta make sure we hit a stud, and then it should look pretty good up there. Hello, I'm back you see, just hanging up the coat rack, I think it turned out pretty good, uh, I'll bring in just a second, uh, now please don't judge, I am doing some renovating in the hallway, but we need something right now on the side, so I'm going to take a look, and then paint the wall in the end, if we're ready, but anyhow, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, um, leave a like, comment, Please subscribe, it's always greatly appreciated, um, and subscribe yeah, for, for more videos and more content, and I will see you soon. And by the way, I, uh, I just got a router for Christmas, so it's, uh, it's probably coming up soon enough, um, I get to play around with that, I think I'm going to own a router, but I've had a router table for like half a year now. Anyhow, take care guys.